Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to talk about adding a React spreadsheet component to your application. So let's say you're building some kind of budget planner app and it allows people to plan their budgets. So uh, we could have a sheet here where we have an overview of their budget. So we could say, well, for rent, we have some kind of budget in mind, basically uh, the theoretical, what we would like to spend at most. This is how much we actually spend in this column and then the difference between them. Now, then I have another spreadsheet with the actual transactions. So if I had rent of $1,400, then I can use that here to have the actual spend here. You can see this is coming from the transactions sheet here. So I've linked them, right? So this is a React spreadsheet component and it is actually coming from Syncfusion. They are also today's sponsor. And I've done other videos with their components. There's a really powerful suite of components that they offer. And they have something not only for React, also other frameworks. It allows us to very easily add a super powerful spreadsheet component to our app. Right? So the user can interact with this as they uh, expect, right? So uh, those uh, standard features that you would expect are included here. I can undo, redo, right? So all of the things that you would expect are included here, right? So those things that you would expect are included here. Um, I can change the styling. I can insert images and charts. I can mark things as a link, um, but I can add a, a pie chart here if I want. I can add formulas, insert a function, uh, work with data here, freeze certain rows or columns, perhaps height headers, height grid lines, right? Now we can customize this. So this is just one specific set of options that I added here. As you'll see, we can customize a lot of this. Now, of course, we not only want to be able to interact within the component itself, if you're incorporating it into an application, we often want to programmatically interact with it. So I should be able, for example, to change the contents here from outside the component. So for example, if I make the monthly budget uh, $2,000 here, you can see the numbers here update. But now if I want to reset the template, if I click on that, you can see it's been reset back to 1400. So I was able to change the contents here by clicking buttons outside the component itself. Um, I can switch between the sheets from here as well. I can uh, save the data here, for example, as JSON, open it as JSON, print it. So let's actually spin up a new React application and let's start with trying to add this component to the page and see how we can customize it. All right, so here we go. I have a new folder open, completely empty right now. So let's actually create a React Vite application in here. I will go with the default settings here. All right, so that is ready to go. If I open this up, we get the React V boilerplate. Let's actually remove that. I will just remove everything here so we can start from a clean slate. All right, and there are also some default styles in here, which I will also remove. And actually, I just want to make the app basically just the viewport. So I'm just going to make the height 100% of the viewport. But now what we have is an empty page here. All right, so we want to add that spreadsheet component to our app. They have the documentation here for React, but you can see it's not only available in React. If you, if you have some other app in Angular or .NET or these other frameworks, that is also possible. All right, so we just have to install the package here. So let me take this and run that right here. All right, so then we can add the styles to the CSS file, or I was also able to make it work by just importing it like this in the TSX file. And now we can add the actual components. So let's actually start by just copying that and paste it right here. And let's see what we have now. So if we go back now, we have the shit the spreadsheet actually already here on the page. It's taking up 100% here, a little bit more even, but we will typically add some kind of container element so it contains the size a little bit better. So we'll fix that in a second. We do see some other notification here as well. This is about the license. So Syncfusion does come with a license. However, you can get an API key and have a free trial. Um, as of recording, you can get that from their website. You can find a link in the description. And then what you can do in the root of your application is you can import this function register license with the ape and you can call it with the API key that you got from the dashboard. And when you do that, and when we go back, you can see that that message is gone. Okay. So actually I was a bit zoomed in here and actually it is not taking up the complete height and width, but you can already see that we have the component in here now with some default uh, setting with some default options here. All right, now with Syncfusion, often it is the case that you have to inject the modules that you want to use yourself. But with the spreadsheet component, those modules are actually already included by default. But if you don't want to use something, you can still say something like allow filtering as false so that that particular functionality is not enabled. So let's actually customize this. So I'm going to put it in 
a container element so we can contain the sizing a little bit better and we'll just let it take up 100% height of that right and you can imagine that sometimes maybe if the user is doing something in your app you don't want to allow them to sort at that moment you can just flip this with a variable to false for example right so the complete set of options here if we do some type in front you can see that we have all these customizations available to us make it exactly to what you want i added some other things in the ui as well so if we go back now we can see our application here with the spreadsheet component i'm zoomed in right so the actual proportions look like this but i think that's a little bit hard for you to see so i'm zoomed in here but now you can see i'm displaying the component here including a default template here how does it know to load this view here actually well we can hook into well, like events, right? So there is a created prop here, which triggers when the component is created. So if we want to load a template, we can do that at that moment, for example. So we need to get a reference to the actual component, and then you can just open from JSON. So you can load like a JSON file and it will be, well, converted into what we see here. I actually wrote it in line here. So we have two sheets, I'm calling it budget and transactions, and we just have to specify the rows and columns, right? So if we do that, you can see we have two sheets here. Now to get the actual reference to the component, I'm just using React use ref, right? Using a type here that we got from Syncfusion. And then we need to make sure that the variable that we attach that using the ref prop here, right? So then we can use this variable to do all sorts of things to programmatically interact with it outside the actual components. Now, how am I able to then actually also switch between sheets here from outside the components, go to budgets, I'm show, I'm being shown the budget sheet and the transaction sheet here. If I look at those buttons, what we are doing is we're using that reference and then we can just call the go to method to go to budget and then specifically the cell A1, right? So as long as you have that reference to the components, and we can actually we can do all sorts of things so if we use type inference here you can see there is a go to but there are all these other things that we can do with that instance as well right so create sheet even so programmatically create another sheet for example with all these editing for cells uh, even hooks like so right before save for example right so you can fit it into your app and the way that your app is supposed to work with all your functionalities uh, very well with all of these methods here. And so the user can use this as they are used to. Yeah, it's, just, it's a great user experience here. Uh, we can style it in any way we want, uh, use all these options that I'm sure you've seen before. Now, if I make some change here, I can actually save as JSON, for example, or export if I want. And then later, if I uh, reset here, for example, you can see that that's gone now because I reset. However, I can open again from that JSON. And if I do that, you can see that data that I had before is back again, right? I I can print if I want, right? So we, I can print this sheet. Now, there are so many customizations we can make. So I recommend that you check out the few demos page here on Syncfusion. You can find a link in the description, by the way, to go there. And they've actually prepared some really, really nice uh, demos here. You can probably find something that is close to what you're looking to achieve. So just find something that's close to your use case and they will actually give you the source code for that right here to go. Right, so here is one with the default functionalities. Uh, they have a formula example here. All of that is possible. We can protect our sheet. So if we don't want other people to just start editing it, right, we want to have some protection, right? So that is possible as well. All right, now if you want to link to other cells or sheets, we, we actually set it as well, right? So I can go to transactions like this, right? So we can format the cells and the numbers and all the content in here. Of course, we can sort here as well. So if I want to do ascending by date or descending, right? So all of that works as well. We have charts here and let me actually refresh so you can see that we have this animation here as well really nice so that is included in this sheet here if you want to add images that is also possible right so if you if you do want to dress up the sheet a little bit with some images they can be inserted even resized here as well all right so you can also add notes to these cells so if i'm actually hovering this cell you can see there's been a note inserted by somebody really great for educational purposes and there are some other demos here as well so i highly recommend that you check these out but i think you get the point which is that overall this is a really powerful spreadsheet component for your applications i highly recommend you check them out you can find a link in the description and check out the other videos i did with syncfusion as well in case you need other components as well so thanks for watching hopefully it helps you out have a nice day bye